What's up, Mushroom Fam? Today I wanted to do a quick video review on this little slant rack by Fruiters. So I received this in the mail as just a free gift and I thought I would give it a test run. Um, I'm actually going to be pouring out some more slants today so I thought it'd be a good opportunity to go over the process that I do um, as well as give my thoughts on this slant rack. So normally if you get the 50 mil sterile conical tubes they do come with this little plastic rack but it's not very stable. Um, I have you know just tipped it on its side and then put another tube down like this and it works okay but it is a pain to take off all those lids as it's cooling to reduce the condensation so it's really cool um, little design here and it just comes in little plastic pieces that snap together I think they're 3d printed I know they do have a larger rack with 15 tubes which seems to be probably the better way to go but they just wanted my review on probably the angles and whatnot. And I like this little holder here that you can pull off the lid and rest it on there. Um, I'll show you guys when I pour out my slants, the differences between using this big green rack and then this little, um, this little three tuber here. And I also do like how it's positioned like this. So in my vertical flow hood, I could just leave the lid off for about 24 hours, don't have to worry about anything getting in there, and they come out really nice and dry, um, kind of the ideal slant here. So I appreciate you guys for sending me um, some a little free tester, and I'll keep this as a side just to, as a reminder in case I need some more racks in the future, but this auger is almost cooled down, so I'm going to turn on my flow hood, clean it up and get ready to pour some slants. So it's got a pretty durable plastic right here and I really like it because you could just kind of spray it down just nice like though.
What's up everyone? So it's been about 12 hours since I poured all these slants and I finished it off with some petri dishes. I just turned the flow hood off um, for volume reasons. It worked really well. Um, you can see we've got a perfect slant and a little area for the lids while they were cooling off. So I like the design. Um, and I just made sure that I left it underneath the flow hood. Um, all the condensation on the inside had evaporated, so that was really well. And uh, compared to um, the way I normally do it, it was a lot easier to handle the, the conical tubes. So I think it's a really good design overall. They're going to be sending me a larger one. Um, pretty soon here so I'm pretty excited and it's uh, gonna be yellow to match our logo um, so that's really cool that it comes in different colors and then one thing I noticed um, after going through all of these slants is kind of the buildup of caps so I have them face down so that when the threading goes back inside um, it won't have a risk to get contaminated however I think that having a rack similar to this just for the lids will be a, a really cool feature um, maybe more vertical but just moving the the racks around with all these lids on the ground it's just waiting for a disaster to happen so i think that having a a lid rack in the future might be beneficial as well um, all right guys thanks for the free slant rack i'm going to turn the flow hood back on and cap these up and do some transfers much love.